Hey, what's going on guys? So you guys probably clicked on this thumbnail because you're interested in growing taller or maybe you're just curious as to how I grew from 5'5 five five to 6'3 in two years. So um, before I get into this video, I want to share with you guys some other uh, crazy growth spurt stories. Um, like for example, I've talked about um, Dennis Rodman in another video. Um, I think I commented that he grew from 5'9 to 6'7 within a couple of years. Another basketball player, CJ McCollum, was only 5'4 when he was playing basketball in high school. Um, but by the time he got to college and ultimately entered the pros, he became 6'5". Um, so growth spurts do happen. There are tons of other um, NBA players who had crazy growth spurts. Um, David Robinson is another player um, who was a center. He's seven foot one, I believe. He was average height or even short for his height um, when he was a teenager, but then he had a crazy growth spurt. Before I get into this video, um, let me tell you guys that it is possible. I know there are a lot of people that don't think it's possible to grow taller, but it is possible. Um, there are a couple of things that you can do to make sure that you reach your um, maximum height potential. I've mentioned that in some other videos. It all revolves around um, making sure you're eating a balanced diet, getting enough sleep, doing some stretches. If you're already an adult and you've stopped growing completely, there are a couple of things that you can do to give yourself an inch or two inches of height. Now, when I was younger, I wasn't necessarily tall. I wasn't uh, amongst the tallest in my class and neither was I short. I wasn't amongst the shortest in my class. I was just sort of like average height. So there was nothing special about my height. And most people thought I was just going to be average height, like maybe 5'10". Um, my sister, she's currently 5'11", and she's a year older than me. She was growing way faster than me, and that's because um, girls tend to grow and mature a lot faster than boys do. Um, but also, you know, it was obvious that she was going to be tall because she was always tall, um, one of the tallest amongst her peers. Um, while as for me, I wasn't tall. I had friends that were taller than me that I ultimately outgrew. Um, I had family members who were taller than me at the same age, and I also out outgrew them as well. So for me, there were a couple of things that happened that are very important, and I think that you guys should know about these things because this could be what's um, limiting your height and not letting you reach your maximum height potential. The first thing that happened that actually um, helped me increase my height was that I got dewormed. So what that means is that I had um, worms in my intestine, I'm not going to show you guys a picture because it's very gross, um, but you can Google um, stomach worms and see what that looks like. I had stomach worms, um, a tapeworm in my stomach, um, and I didn't know about it because when you have worms in your stomach, you don't know, you don't feel any symptoms. All you know is that you're eating a lot, you're hungry, but then you're not um, growing, you're losing weight, you feel weak, you feel tired. Because what's happening is that the worms are actually feeding off of you and taking all the nutrients from the foods that you're eating and they're actually growing and multiplying um, while you yourself, you're not growing and you're losing weight and all these kind of things. So how do you get stomach worms and how do you know if you have stomach worms? Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description box down below to some of the symptoms that you might experience if you have stomach worms. It's very important to see a doctor if you do have stomach worms because I guarantee you 100% this is definitely stunting your growth. Now you can get stomach worms from drinking um, water that might be a little bit contaminated. Um, some fruits, uh, vegetables. Sometimes these worms are very small and undetectable to the human eye. So it's very easy to just consume it and then they ultimately start growing and living in your stomach. I grew up in Nigeria where it's very possible to have stomach worms. Um, so this is one of the things that I felt stunted my growth uh, at an early age. But luckily I was able to detect it and I took a medication to um, get rid of the stomach worms and it was a nasty um, disgusting experience. I ultimately flushed it down my system and all of the stomach worms came out and it was very gross. Another thing that stunted my growth is that I had really bad bow legs when I was younger and a lot of people didn't think I would be able to stand up straight or walk straight but thankfully and luckily for me my bones actually kind of straightened out a little bit. I still have a slight bow leg but it's a lot better than it was when I was younger so of course having uh, straighter legs are also going to make you stand taller and be taller um, compared to having a bow leg. So the big question, how did I get from 5'5 five five to 6'3 in a matter of two years? So here's the thing. So when I was younger, I really didn't think about my height much. I didn't care about my height. I didn't know I would want to be a model and you need to be tall to be a model. Um, back then I thought modeling was only something that women did. Um, so I, I just didn't really care much about my height. But I started caring about my height when I noticed 
that a lot of girls, um, especially the girls that I had a crush on when I was younger, were more attracted to taller guys. So I was like, hey, like I need to get taller. So what I started to do is I started to research what are the things that I need to do to get taller. And I saw that some of the things that you need to do to get taller was to consume a lot of proteins and eat a balanced diet. One of the easiest sources of protein that I had available to me was beans. And beans is actually very nutritious. And if you're a teenager, this is something that you guys need to add to your diet because it helps you guys grow taller. Some of the other foods that are very nutritious in terms of helping you guys grow taller is eating a lot of eggs, um, eating salmon, eating quinoa, a lot of green leafy vegetables, and berries as well. These things will help you guys grow taller because they have the necessary vitamins and nutrients to help you guys grow. Um, another thing is to try to take supplements because when I was growing up uh, younger in Nigeria, I didn't have those supplements readily available to me. Um, but luckily for you guys, um, now it's very easy to get your hands on supplements. You can get it from Amazon and whatnot. I'm going to leave some uh, really important links in the description box down below to some of the best supplements that you guys can take to help you guys um, make sure you're getting a balanced diet and making sure you're reaching your maximum height potential. So anyway, so I started becoming really obsessed with my heights once I noticed that um, uh, women are more attracted to taller guys. I started becoming really obsessive and I was eating everything that I could to make sure I was growing, making sure I was eating enough. Another thing that I started to do that at the time I didn't realize helped me was I started to play sports. So I played soccer growing up um, and I also started to pick up basketball a little bit. Now, of course, when you're playing team sports, one of the first things you always do before you actually start um, your physical activity is to stretch. And stretching is very important for soccer because you're using your lower body a lot. Same with basketball, stretching is very important. So I was doing a lot of stretches. So doing these daily stretches actually helps me grow to about 6'3". One thing I forgot to mention, um, my parents aren't necessarily tall. Um, my mom, she's about 5'5". Five, five and my dad, he's about 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 now, one way to calculate your height potential, if you're a guy, you take the average height of your parents and add two to four inches. That's the range of your height potential. Now, of course, there are some outliers and you can still grow even six inches above that average height. If you're female, you subtract two inches from the average height of your parents and add two inches. So you're in between that range of minus two inches to two inches plus. But of course, they're always outliers. Some people just have the DNA to just grow taller and just have a crazy growth spurt. All right, so what can you guys do? If you're under the age of 21 and you're interested in growing taller, you definitely need to follow these tips. One, make sure you guys are getting your daily stretches. I've made videos about that. Secondly, make sure you're eating a balanced diet. This is very important. Third, you should always be drinking enough water and getting enough sleep. Adequate sleep is one of the most important things that you guys can do for your height. And then if you're over 21, you can still grow one to two inches by having um, better posture, doing yoga stretches. These things will help you at least add one or two inches more to your height. Another thing that you guys can do is that you guys can wear insole shoes. Um, these insole shoes are like a really nice trick. Um, you can slip them into any shoes and they will give you uh, two inches of height boost and that will make you stand taller. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a comment down below if you guys have more questions, um, something you're curious about. If any of these tips are working for you, if you guys have noticed any kind of height increase, drop that as well. Um, always appreciate you guys. If you guys like this video, learn anything new, hit me with a thumbs up. Don't forget to sub. I'd love to see you guys back on this channel again. See you in my next one.